Welcome back to Jenna's Ratchet Fashion Salon. I made one of these in the past and I don't know why anyone liked it, but like a lot of you guys liked it. I was genuinely baffled by it. But why stop at people clothes when we can expand our abilities into dog clothes? I asked on Twitter if you wanted me to make Game of Thrones costumes for the dogs or Harry Potter costumes for the dogs. Harry Potter won, but I want to make a dragon. People were like, Jenna, why don't you just make both? And I was like, what do you expect me to make six dog costumes in one sitting? I am a mere mortal, not a crafting god. And then I thought to myself, wait a second. I'll just split the difference. So here's what I'm gonna do. Kermit is gonna be Harry Potter. Marbles is going to be Daenerys from Game of Thrones. And Peach is going to be one of her dragons. I feel like this is the fairest way to do this to please everyone. So I'm going to show you right now where all of my inspiration came from because I used the internet machine to get some inspiration. Uh... Very ambitious for today, I'd say. I've never made a dog costume before, so this could get very dicey, but let's do it. I'm ready. First one I'm gonna make is Marble's dress as Daenerys. For those of you that don't watch Game of Thrones, all right, she's just a blonde lady that has dragons, so now you're filled in. Congratulations, you're welcome. I think we should have like a gold collar, like her necklace, sort of, which is what I got this for. A long blue dress with like a structured front, you know? So there needs to be two armholes and a neck. That's about marble size, right? Let's do it. Let's cut some arms where I think Marble's arms might be, but I don't know. Mama, it's time for your fitting. Wow, this is not gonna fit you, is it? I know, you didn't consent at all. I'll call you back in once I fixed your dress, okay? So I made a bigger one. All right, we're working with something. Move your Velcro down here. Do -do 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 -do. I mean, this is really, really bad. Very good patience, Marple. Part of my strategy here is to not show you everything until the end so that I can have the end reveal. I don't really know what my plan is. <laughs> So it turns out making dog clothes actually requires far less sewing than I had anticipated, but I attempted to attach Marble's beautiful collar with his beautiful dress, and it was a terrible idea, so I just ripped it apart, but thankfully, I'm only using hot glue. I don't know why I didn't think of this before, because if a person doesn't have to wear it, just a dog does. I mean, why am I even sewing? I probably don't regret this. The last part of Marble's outfit, I wanted to be like a blonde wig, but then I found this string and I was like, we could just make him some yarn hair. What if I chopped him up into pieces and hot glued them <laughs> to a piece of fabric? Clap, snap, point. Ooh, what if we hot glued this to a piece of fabric and then hot glued the hair to this? This video would be a lot better if it was like Halloween, but why wait for Halloween to make your dreams come true? You know what I'm saying? That's kind of big. <laughs> and do we need his ears to poke out? That looks like the shape of his head, right? Much to your and my surprise, this actually works. I'm sort of laying it like your hair would go. This is the first row that's like gonna be closest to his face, and then I'm gonna lay more under there. Hopefully it'll look like hair. Is it overkill? Yeah. Is it gonna stay on his head? Probably not. Is it fitting for a queen? Yes, it is. You know, I realize it's not exactly curly, but working with yarn. All right, done with the hair. Now I'm gonna start working on Kermit's outfit. I think I'm gonna do it differently than Marbles. Marbles, like cut like the outfit first. I think I'm gonna do the collar because it's like mostly a tie and a collar. This fabric is very thin, so I was thinking about for the tie, like actually using this cardboard that it comes packaged in. I mean, that looks kind of nice, right? I'm just gonna go like that and then just hot glue it to this. But I think you'll be able to see the hot glue through it, but like, what do you want from me? It's a dog tie, but I mean, my inspiration is like pretty high up there in terms of skill. I don't think we can accomplish that, so just do our version. That's what the internet's for. See something cool? Make a mediocre version of it. All right, Sam's tie is done. I just hot glued all of the little yellow strips onto it. And yes, I realized I didn't make a little tie knot, but all right, we'll make a tie knot. Fuck. Ah, there it is. Fuck, oh my god, such a perfect pink material. So I decided Kermit was gonna be hairy for a couple of reasons. One, because he's the only one tolerant of wearing anything on his face. And two, because this cape is probably the least invasive costume and he hates wearing things on his body. Wow, very exciting. Please work, please work. I don't have any other ideas. There is no plan B, this has to work. All I'm gonna tell you about Kermit's glasses is that they're made out of pipe cleaners, which are no longer pipe cleaners anymore. They're called chenille stems. 
Oh, fancy! Okay, Queenie, I think yours is gonna be pretty ambitious and we're just gonna do the best that we can, okay? So I really only need two measurements. I need her body girth and her neck girth. It's her butt. Is that, is that her butt? <laughs> so this is Peach. Hopefully my fabric markers will look, work on here, otherwise homegirl gonna be a white dragon! All right, it was a little bit of a process, but I think I have the pieces cut out, the wings, uh, the body, and the neck piece. This was the trickiest part to cut because what the fuck is this shape about? It's nowhere near as cool as that one, but I'm hoping it's gonna work out. <laughs> Peachy's outfit is complete. It's reveal time. All right, so because Harry Potter won the poll, I think I'm going to reveal Harry Potter first. So ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Harry Potter. <laughs> So handsome, bud. Do you like your new glasses? So, with a tie made out of cardboard and cut up fabric and more cardboard, and then a like on sale piece of black fabric and some pipe cleaners, this could be yours. Wow. The most tolerant dog in the world. Oh, your glasses, hun. That's really great stuff. Wow. Good for you. Next up to the reveal stage. Oh, God. Permit, permit, hold <laughs> my wallet. Next up on the reveal stage, Daenerys Targaryen. Wow, pleasure having you, my <laughs> All right, wow, pretty. I mean, we could have made you a little attachment under there, but wow, that hair. Wearing a custom gown. Wow, mother of dragons, this is quite the look for you. Oh. <laughs> Guys, the mother of dragons is very tired from dragoning around doing stuff. So the mother of dragons needs to take a nap right about now. But look at this gown! I mean, wow, the craftsmanship. Next level. The only one to follow Daenerys Targaryen is one of her dragons! <laughs> wow, look at you! Really not what we are going for, but you look extra cute, honey. Yeah, how do you feel? Do you feel like a dragon? Yeah, that's why we didn't cut you eye holes. So you're not gonna look out of them anyway. I like your wings, wow, those came out nice. Oh, oh. is the dragon tired? Did the dragon just get tired all of a sudden? I mean, I will say, you guys look Excellent and enthusiastic together. Um, so my apologies to everyone watching. This is probably the best shot we're gonna get of them together. But this has been Jenna's Ratchet Fashion Salon. Um, this time apparently only using hot glue. Kermit doesn't care at all. <laughs> Kermit, you're so handsome, but oh, I love you so much. Yes, I do. I'm talking about you. That's it from uh, the dragon and Daenerys and Harry Potter, and I'm glad that we could find a happy medium that everyone liked. Did you guys have fun? So yeah, I hope you liked my creations. Uh, thank you for your suggestions of what to make. And if you ever want me to make more Jenna's Ratchet Fashion Salon, I mean, clearly I'm down. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos every Wednesday slash Thursday. I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Oh, okay, we're done. Kermit still doesn't care. <laughs> Kermit, can you see into another dimension with those glasses on, bud? Kermit, care. Kermit, care more. Kermit. Kermit. Kermit, say goodbye. Kermit, you want a treat?